Hey everybody, welcome to I Spy Friday Christmas, no, New Year's Eve, Eve edition. Uh, today I want to talk to you guys about tool trailer organization and why it's so important. So we've had this trailer set up for just a little over a year now and I've never really done a walkthrough uh, in here to show you guys what's going on. So let's do that. Um, this is going to be part one of two. Next week we'll do, we'll, uh, we'll, uh, cover all our power sources in here. We have three power sources, but today we'll talk about kind of how we're set up and why. So up here, we've got our, uh, pole jacks. There's three different sizes and you can see the bags are all labeled. So we've got large, medium, and small. This will help us with um, setting up containment and being efficient. Uh, vacuum. We've got all our screws and different kinds of fasteners, pan head screws, anchors, electrical fa electrical uh, morats and whatnot, machine screws, little compressor. We've got all these rigid boxes and the reason I'm on the rigid platform for toolboxes, the main reason is the price is right. And when you have a lot of them, like we've got a lot in here, there's a lot in the garage too. When you have this many, price is key. They're tough. They stack well. They're durable. They do the job. Uh, back here, this is the new, this is the new, you guys remember when I got this, this Capex, uh, I don't know, about eight months ago, something like that, a year ago. The reason it's back here is because if it's over up front, when we're putting in our sheet goods, stacking in drywall or hauling plywood or whatever, it sticks out. We didn't want anything pressing up against it. The only downfall about having it right here is the vacuum, the sander, the track saw back here. It's hard to get out. You got to pull the, you got to pull the K-Pax out to get the rest out, but that's the way it is. So we've got, and then we've got miscellaneous tools in here. This is a heated cabinet and uh, it's powered by, I can show you. It's powered by, and we've got this little bumper on here. Right there, you can see. So this is a heated cabinet. Uh, it's powered with a light bulb and a little uh, inline HVAC fan. And everything stays warm. We can plug that into grid power, solar power, uh, flex volt power, or the generator, which we'll go over next week. Over here, we've got things that are like basically impossible to store properly and nicely, brooms, levels, uh, rolls of poly. This is usually full with extension cords, but they're all on jobs right now. And then up here we've got uh, the Tough System DeWalt uh, toolboxes. They're full of miscellaneous, all the different tapes. It's basically all tapes. And here we've got other miscellaneous stuff, electrical, the grinder and the discs, um, hole saws and spade bits and miscellaneous drill bits. And then this is more just random stuff. The table saw is easy to get at. And then up here, we've got our uh, uh, track saw tracks mounted on checker plates, out of the way, not gonna get damaged, easy to get at. And it looks pretty cool too. So this is our trailer setup. We have to rebuild this. This is for sawhorses. It was for an old style sawhorse that we used to have, but now we've switched over to these uh, uh, Bora speed horses, which are awesome. And we just have to rebuild this rack so we can fit four or six in there. And then of course the Bora centipede, which is super useful all the time. Uh, and then this chest down here is full of, you know, all kinds of things that we need on a day-to-day -day basis. And then a little workbench, which is handy. So this is our trailer setup. It's very convenient to work out of. And, uh, you know, it's, it's 
It's fun, it's branded, it's green, it's painted, it's, we love it. It was a big investment, but it pays off every day that we're in here because it's so organized. When we need something, we come in, we know exactly where it is. Uh, you know, it doesn't fall off the shelves. It's not, you know, it's, we have a custom, custom made, it's all aluminum racks. It's built to fit what we have. The only issue with that is when we upgrade tools or, um, you know, as you progress, you're buying new tools, you're changing systems and we just make it work, but we love it. It's light and it looks good. So thanks for watching. Uh, happy new year, everybody. This will be the last, um, I spy Friday until 2023. So. Happy New Year, and thanks for watching. I'm Josh with Adlin Construction.